Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. After the long wait, Episode 77 Part 3 finally arrived and it definitely was worth the wait. Boom cooked hard and gave us a real treat, especially with that one TV woman scene. Also, after a while, we finally get to see a Titans comeback, but Titan TV Man might not be surviving this one. Thanks to this episode kind of shows us how much damage even the normal Astros can do. It's likely that Juggernaut will no diff Titan TV Man in Part 4 unless something unexpected happens. We'll talk about this more later in the video, but Titan TV Man got cooked kind of hard this time, even though he technically won the small battle he had. There was also a lot of talking that happened by the TV men, so make sure to watch the whole analysis to not miss any of the secrets in today's episode. Anyways, here we go. The episode starts off with the upgraded camera woman helping the POV get up and we give her a thumbs up and as you can imagine, the Astros instantly start their attacks. But with the arrival of the reinforcement squad, it seems like their job won't be as easy as it used to be because after their first couple attacks, camera woman gets in the frame and orders everyone to march forward, and she looks so badass doing so. Right at this moment, one of the interceptors starts shooting at her, resulting in her doing a slick move to dodge the attacks. And it really feels like Boom put some extra effort into her movement this episode because the way she moves actually feels unique and feels like a commander. Thinking about it lately, each character's movements have been getting better and more unique to their own. After this, Camera Woman changes her camera light to red, but before we can see her do anything, Boom blesses us with one of the new cameraman weapons. This seems like an upgraded version of the old camera satellite, and it hits hard. It has a homing laser projectile that can actually kill off interceptors. After this, we hear and see the goofy Michael Jackson toilet attacking them Astros, and Fred gives a thumbs up to Camera Woman, but they are interrupted by the Astro Obliterator, and goddamn blood is huge. He shoots a projectile, literally pushing the POV and everyone else miles away with just a shockwave and destroying all the camera vehicles around the place. Camera Woman instantly gets up and puts down the fire in her ass by slapping it twice, and what in the TV woman is that, bruh? Boom legit added jiggle physics. Ain't no way. I rewatched that part at least ten times. But alongside the sussiness, this probably is one of the coolest looking scenes in the episode. If you guys remember episode 50, we saw Plunger Cameraman trying to take on the huge Skibidi toilets attacking the camera headquarters himself with his plungers, and Camera Woman is basically doing the same here, but right after she starts flying, the Astro Obliterator attacks her with one of his side guns and bro, if that hit. She probably would have turned into ashes. But thankfully the Obliterator misses, but not only that, my other favorite female in the series suddenly shows up out of nowhere to save my other favorite female in the series with the craziest pose ever. You know goddamn well I would have given away everything to swap sides with either one of them. But sadly, TV woman steals my camera woman and probably teleports her back to her bed. I mean back to the camera headquarters. There also was a very small detail here which might be important later on, unless camera woman was actually teleported back to the base. If you look at the right side, you can see Camera Woman's camera protector fell off and she was teleported without it. If TV Woman just teleported her to a safe place in the area, it's very unlikely that she'll receive a new one which might cause some issues in the later episodes if Boom intended this small detail to foreshadow what's coming. I'm saying this because in episode 74 it was revealed that TV Man's teleportation abilities take some time and we see TV Woman again later in the episode, so I doubt she could have went far away. Also, I know TV Woman was upgraded, but I'll talk about this later in the video since the next time she shows up we get a better look from the front. After this, we see the upgraded large TV man teleport in the area. I legit thought it was a new character or something because of the silhouette we saw while he was teleporting, but it looks like all the TV man are getting upgrades, which means we'll probably see Speaker Man get upgrades soon as well. But alongside all this, Large TV man's entrance is rather rude because bro comes in and literally says, Inadequate goofballs, what are you doing here? Get out! To G-Squad and the cameraman in reverse right before charging up his new weapons and says, My turn, shithead! To Astro Obliterator in reverse. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. I'ma be honest, bro, is all talk. All that build-up and calling his allies goofballs lead to him getting obliterated by the obliterator. 
Bro didn't even feel those energy balls slightly. This might really be the downfall of TV man. Other than TV woman, of course, she is a different breed. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you agree, because otherwise I'm never going to get to two mil subs. After this, the Obliterator rams into the squad once more, but it looks like the POV dodges it, leading to Titan TV Man arriving in the scene to fight off the Astro Toilets, most likely because there is no one else who can handle it. Titan Speaker Man is probably still getting treatment and might be getting upgraded. Titan TV Man arrives right when the Obliterator is shooting laser balls to the reinforcements, and he gets interrupted by Titan TV Man's signature move. We see his full body when the POV turns to the right and Bro looks cool as he always did. He says, someone is dying and it's not me in reverse. Before we talk more about this, listen to it in reverse. <laughs> As you guys know, Boom shared a puzzle leak couple days ago which said, Someone is dying. And it's clearly a reference to this scene because at the bottom of the leak it also said, It ain't me. Basically, it was Titan TV Man's voice line, but was there any truth in this statement? Is someone actually gonna die? This leak already foreshadowed us the Juggernaut comeback, and with Titan TV Man's voice line, it clearly was meant for their duel, and the question now is, Will any of them die? Or was this simply just to hype up the episode? Part 4 will definitely be crazy because with the current state of Titan TV Man, he actually has a chance of dying, and with how the Astros messed him up, I don't know if he can take on Juggernaut alone. We'll go deeper into this later in the episode after I talk about his fight with the Astros. After his voice line, the Obliterator instantly shoots him, but Titan TV Man easily deflects these energy balls and shoots a projectile out of his core himself, which makes the Obliterator ram into Titan TV Man to get freaky with him by biting one of his monitors off. This gets Titan TV Man really mad, and blood starts using the red beam non-stop while slicing off every part of Obliterator's body but he instantly gets shot on his shoulder by an astro tank, and this attack actually deals quiet bit of damage. Bro's shoulder is actually on fire now, and the tank doesn't stop even for a second. He charges up another attack and sends it flying. Right at this moment, we can see the interceptor from earlier in the episode attacking the tank, which got me confused at first, because didn't it die? And why is it attacking an astro, but thanks to Boom, he told me that was TV Woman using the Interceptor's body, which Michael Jackson Toilet killed earlier to help Titan TV Man. Thanks to this distraction, Titan TV Man teleports his arm next to the tank to slice him off. But the tank sees this coming and jumps onto Titan TV Man and shoots a huge blast right back onto Titan TV Man's neck. Holy crap. The damage this did to Titan TV Man is actually insane. Bro is all messed up. His monitor is cooked completely. This leads him into using his core lasers to cook the tank's head and kills him off completely. But it doesn't end here. Bro is actually getting the Titan cameraman treatment today. Like the video and subscribe to pay your respects to Blood because he is probably so cooked next episode. Before any more Astros come into the scene, he calls out to the reinforcements who are pretty damaged and says, Your Titan wouldn't want you to die meaninglessly. Leave while you still can in reverse. Here you go, listen to it yourself. It is weird to me that all the TV men are telling the cameramen they are stupid. These guys came here as reinforcements and TV men are basically saying you shouldn't be here saving anybody. It looks like they want to focus on saving Titan Cameraman while the cameramen are still trying to save their troops out in the wild. And now because the new reinforcements are getting killed, the TV men had to come here and help. It's likely that this was Camera Woman's plan after what she saw a couple episodes ago where TV men left the cameramen to die in the streets which got her mad. We saw this happen in the secret scenes of episode 76. I wonder how this will affect their relationship because Titan TV Man basically got cooked because Camera Woman was mad and acted without thinking. After his talk, he instantly opens up his shield to protect himself because another Astro arrives and we actually see a new ability from them. After the Astro realizes that the lasers are not doing much damage and receives a strikes from Titan TV Man, he transforms into a boulder shape and starts ramming onto Titan TV Man. Bro actually tackles him and knocks him down. The humiliation is actually insane. While Titan TV Man is having the hardest times of his life trying to hold on with his shield while actually getting damaged, 
The Astro gets attacked by one of the large cameramen using one of the laser weapon tanks they have, but he instantly gets shot not even a second later. Thanks to this distraction, Titan TV man is able to get up and bro is mad mad. He starts yelling, bitch, you can't kill the dead. I'll show you what the other side looks like. In reverse, while actually demolishing him, cutting every part of his body with his slashes right before removing his helmet and squashing his head with his bare arms. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. This leads to us seeing his destroyed look right before the POV cameraman looks left, and the upgraded large cameraman says, You did well, Lil Bro, in reverse. Ain't no way he Lil Bro'd him. Here you go, listen to it yourself. The conversation doesn't end here because my beloved TV woman and TV daddy show up and TV daddy says, we teleported everyone to base, let's get out of here, big bro. TV daddy got some mad respect, bro, calls Titan TV man, big bro, not lil bro. Anyways, here you go, listen to it in reverse. Let's get out of here, big bro. We teleported everyone to base. Which base did they teleport everyone to, though? Was it the TV base or the cameraman base also? Did they actually teleport G-Squad as well? Because we still don't know what they would do in a situation like that. Now let's talk about TV Woman's upgrade. First of all, she does look really good with those spikes on the back. But Camera Woman's upgrade still is number one. She had the craziest glow-up while TV Woman was already good and got a minor glow-up. It looks like TV Man will be using some circle thing we saw earlier on the back of TV Woman and on the back of Large TV Man when he arrived. So it's likely that Titan TV Man might get something similar with an upgrade unless he dies. We can also see that TV Woman has some sort of small core thing on her belt now. No idea what new powers she has, but it'll be interesting to see because Camera Woman can do a lot more than she used to. After TV Daddy's voice line, Titan TV Man looks behind after we hear noises of Astros coming in, and he instantly says, Pathetic trash, give me someone worthy to fight, in reverse, but bro, you ain't in shape to say something like that. You don't got it in you today, bruh, they shat on you earlier. Here you go, listen to it yourself. But sadly, his wishes come true, and we see Astro Juggernaut closing by slowly with his menacing look. Bro says, you are not escaping this time, to Titan TV man, and I think he actually means it. Part 4 is gonna be crazy, bro. This fight will actually be insane because we know how damaged Titan TV man is, and there is actually Noon that can save him at the moment with Titan cameraman missing and Titan speaker man getting treatment. What do you think? Will Titan TV man die or will he kill Juggernaut? Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the analysis. Elite cameraman out.